All right, we're back. Yeah. Respawn men ship review time again. Uh, we have another uh, entry from the Scuba Scott excursion out east. Uh, we've used this brand bef before. Um, quality and value picks is the brand. Uh, the flavor is all dressed, which is a seasoned chip that we have reviewed before, although I think we had the regular version before. This is the rippled version. So different texture, but it's got similar characteristics, it looks like, judging by the packaging. Onions, chives, uh, maybe garlic powder. Um, so some similar spices. Uh, we've got on the, the day of the first day of school, Blake on the day of his first day of fourth grade, and Danny on the day of his first day of seventh grade. And Danny is playing with his phone clip. He got a new phone and he's annoying me right now. If we could stop that, that would be great. <laughs> oh, before okay. we started, yes. before we started this, he was like, oh, first I have to, I have to go up and call Uncle Jeff back. When he was, no, before that he went up there, he's like, I gotta go tell to mom something. Thing. And then he went and told mom, yes. so he came down and said, oh, God, call okay, back. Okay, like, you don't need to say yes, the whole Danny thing. delayed the start of this several times. He was having trouble concentrating for this. Okay, here we go. Mmm, I like that. Ooh, it just smell like original ruffles, to be honest. To be honest, it just smell like original ruffles. No, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a little different. All Maybe right. Maybe We'll see. One chip, everybody knows the rules. Why is this chip so long? <laughs> Out of Schenectady, New York, as a reminder. Uh, this brand is out of Schenectady, New York. Up, upstate Queens, New York. Right. No, this is upstate New York. Oh. Well, I'll have to hear the other That was Hal's, was in, from Queens. Uh, hat of the day, Italy. This is from the Italian Fest here in Detroit. Uh, uh, Blake, you want to make the first comment? Um, they just... They, I'm not going to get my rating quite yet, but... They just taste the and there's a glass in my way. Um, why? Um, it just tastes like regular ruffles, to be honest. There's nothing crazy about this. It's kind of middle of the road, maybe more up top. I don't think it's bad. It's just like I don't think it's anything special. Okay, Danny, thoughts? Honestly, like I completely disagree with what Blake said because this is probably my favorite chip so far. Wow, okay. More what do you like it, about it? I'll say what you like about it. Uh, it just like it has a really good flavor and like uh, it also has like a lot of flavor. So, uh. what what is the flavor? What are you what are you tasting? What what is the flavor? I need mean, wait. Okay. It's like pretty much a lot of everything. I feel like I'm getting like a little ketchup, which is kind of I don't know. It's kind of I feel like ketchup. Well, maybe some similar maybe some similar ingredients to ketchup, but like some of the. The salt and garlic and onion and spices and whatnot. Interesting. Um, so something of note. So we we reviewed the Hal's brand a couple times recently. Um, we mentioned how salty the Hal's brand was. Um, this is about half the salt of the Hal's brand. That was over 300 milligrams of sodium, I believe. This is 180. Um, so that's interesting. I think that makes it a more uh more of a football chip you can have multiple bowls of this i think um so let's do a rating all right danny you, you loved it so you start um i gave the last chip well not the last chip but uh the chip that I was, think in it was the last place. chip. no it wasn't we did how that no we did uh, no, Chile no that was before that day. no anyway Chile that was my favorite and that was 8.2 and i'd probably give this an 8.3 8.3 okay so just you like the texture you like the the flavor yeah anything else no i mean okay it just has like it flavor, you so. just all right uh blake i know you feel differently what's your and also it's I don't not like think, extremely salty. i don't think it's bad i just don't think it's anything special like i like the flavor a lot 
and I think the seasonings are good. I just don't think it's anything special. There's not like just a one particular flavor in there that just kind of blows my mind. Like with the like, let's just talk about the um, the um, New York um, the um, the cheese ruffle New York chip. That the special brain flavor for me was. But it's just the cheese. Okay, I think so that's in, like, in general, do you prefer to have a more noticeable standout flavor? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, there's just like a lot of different seasonings and a lot of different things. Okay. Which together, they all taste good. It's just there's not a standout flavor that makes it special. All right, so what are you giving it? But I'm going to give it a, just a, a flat seven. A flat seven, okay. And can I say one more thing? Yes. I think this is a good football chip. Yes, I would agree with that. And uh, and uh, and then probably I would take this over sixty percent of fries. Okay. What about and what kind of food would you eat it with? Mm, maybe like a sub mm -hmm. or a sandwich. Or maybe I agree. Even. I agree with all that. Um, good football chip for sure. I would eat it with a sub or a sandwich. Also, I agree with that. I also agree with that. Yep, I figured you would. Um, it's a very moderate amount of, of salt, so I think you can have a couple bowls of these without without going crazy. Um, without having a seizure. My, my rating is, uh, I'm going to go between these two guys. I think it's a really good, solid overall chip. Blake is right. I think they're both right, basically. Blake's right that it does not have a standout flavor. Danny is right that it's good. You can You can definitely eat a lot of these, and it's... I think it'd be a good party chip. I think if you wanted to to use dip with it, you definitely could. Um, so I'm going to go in between. I'll go. I'm going to go 7.7 7 on this. 7.7 7 for the uh, all dress rippled uh, from Quality and Value Picks. Um, all right. Anything else, guys? Um. I don't know. I think I just think I think this was an okay chip. I think this is like you already said all of that. Okay. You don't even go through the whole thing again. You don't even know. Oh, my God. What, like, go ahead. what do you want to say? I, I said I think that this, um, like um, Dad said, I think you could definitely use, like, guac, even salsa, maybe even, like, cheese or something to make, like, nachos with it. I think this is a good chip to, like, dip with and to, like, and to use for, like, parties. I just want to add something. Why would you ever make nachos with this chip? Because it doesn't have a lot of flavor, so you can. But you don't add... use the regular better made well, potato think, chips to make nachos. I think generally, I, I, I would agree. If I think if I'm going to use a, a dip, it would probably be like a onion dip, you know, like a normal, uh, normal chip dip. But I think what Blake is saying is, he feels like it needs something extra. He doesn't think that it, there's enough standout flavor that it would need to be dipped in something. So. Anyhow, I think uh, some agreement there all the way around, but uh, pretty good, pretty good overall chip for uh, for something that's sold at uh, you know a typical gas station. I think uh, in upstate New York, I think it's a pretty good chip. So, all right, thanks, Scuba Scott, and we'll uh, we'll talk to you soon.